We've had Max for 30 years. 20 of those 30 years I have shared him nationally and internationally with the world. Max is about peace, connecting back to peace. I call him the love and peace skull of, that's within oneself. I feel that they're in the image of, of the skull because this is the universal symbol of man. This shape and symbol represents all of humankind. So to me, Max is a tool for self-reflection and a tool for self-expression. And to remind each person that by looking at self, that you can reach your highest goals. To you, this will look perfect. It's not. It has just enough little irregularities to know that this is hand done. When you look over the top of the skull, this cheekbone is higher. The teeth are just a little bit less depth and it goes deeper to the side and they got two separate motors that they had to work in in the back. The Tibetan healer who gave this to us said that it was a healing tool and we believe it to be thousands of years old. It cannot be reproduced. It's one of a kind. I've seen thousands of crystal skulls through 20 years. We've never seen another one like this. Oftentimes people ask me, well, what has Max done for you personally in your life? He did for me what no human could do. He brought me out of the deep, dark pit of the loss of our 12-year-old daughter to bone cancer and brought me out where I could express myself through this stone. And I said, you know, if I could do this, this is why I offer Max to the world. If Max could do this for me, then I, if he does this for one person, and I know he can, then it's worth every getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, traveling across the United States, staying up for two days, and going home. It's been a very great adventure.